name is Beth Bell and I'm the Executive Director of BraveWorks. Hi, my name is Katie Hyde and I'm a Managing Director with BACO. So Beth, we'd love to learn more about the mission of BraveWorks. Of course, I'm so glad you're here today. So BraveWorks is a 501c3 nonprofit. We're based right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And our mission is to empower women and families who are overcoming trauma and injustice, bridging the gap from pain to purpose through impactful connections, inspired creations, and economic confidence. So we empower women who are overcoming traumas such as human trafficking, domestic violence, addiction, incarceration, generational poverty, and ethnic persecution. We work right here in Charlotte and around the globe in Africa and South and Central America. And these women come to us um, broken from their trauma. They don't feel capable or worthy. And they come into our program from referring partners, other agencies that refer them in. And we teach them how to make beautiful things, like you'll see in our shop. Jewelry, sewn items, bags, gifts, and more. And they're paid up front either for their time or their products, so all the risk is on us. And the other half of the time for the women locally is we work with them to empower them both personally and professionally. We help them identify, set, and achieve goals around finishing their education, stable housing, future employment, continued sobriety, emotional health, healthy community, and more. We're in a beautiful location here in Dilworth. Can you tell us how you guys came to this spot? Yes, um, our founder and her husband found this beautiful house built in 1901, right in the heart of Dilworth. It was actually one of the first residences in Dilworth and one of the last ones in the Queen Anne style. And so in this space, we have a shop where we sell the beautiful items that our artisans make. We also have a space in the back um, where the transformation actually takes place. Uh, every week we have women that come on site. We also run programs off site. And then upstairs we have our offices. So it's amazing to be in this home because we welcome the women just as they are. And we're very um, big on belonging and having everyone feel a part of this family. And so walking to a, into a home really helps with that. They feel like they're a part. They walk in through the front door and they have this whole space to themselves. We have a coffee bar. They can grab a cup of joe and intermingle with both our staff, our mentors, our customers. So it's this beautiful space of reconciliation where women of all different walks of life come together and get to know each other and build beautiful friendships. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of BraveWorks and oh. how we came to be in this beautiful building? Of course I'd love to. So um, we were founded by, um, our founder's name is Michelle Dudley and our co-founder is Celeste Bundy and they were on a mission trip in Rwanda and felt um, moved by the women that they met and wanted to help them. So they started buying up their beautiful products and bringing them back here and selling them to the friends. And that's how the program was initially launched, as it's an international program. But then about a year later, um, in 2013, they met a trafficking survivor right here in Charlotte, and that's when the local programming was born. And so since then, we've served women both locally and globally. We were actually launched almost 10 years ago so we're celebrating our 10-year anniversary um, next month and we did a lot of listening with the women that we serve and they continue to tell us that they emerge from our program confident courageous bold and brave and it's in large part due to the purposeful work they take part in and the work spark they create and that's how we came to the name BraveWorks.